Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Ken Cash Budgets here with a sinking funds update video. So today I'm going to go over a little bit of my high priority, low priority sinking funds and see how much I've saved from um, last month. So the end of February to the end of March. So I'm going to be doing these every month just to see my progress month to month. So I'm going to go ahead and just start off with my high priority, which what, what I consider, or my expenses binder, but what I consider um, car maintenance and extra car payments, I consider that like a sinking fund that's just kind of like adds up in a way. So let's see, car maintenance last month had 230, ending February, uh, let me zoom in. And now according to my tracker, wow, we're back at the same spot, 230. I did use some, out of this right i think that's correct but i could be wrong honestly let me count it i don't know if you guys would like that but i'm gonna count it all right so i have three different categories sorry doing that oh i zoomed way too much all right okay so 150 70 in car maintenance 150 70 and then in car wash, 70, 90. So a 90, uh, 210, 240, 245. Oh, 245? I don't know if I counted that like completely on. So 20, 40, 45, and then that would be 65. So 65. Plus the 170, I think. 150, 70, yeah. So 65 plus 170. You guys, do the math for me. <laughs> Let me bring out my calculator. 170 plus 65. 235, actually. All right, so we're still up $5. Um, not bad. All right, an extra car I know has 87. Oh, so that's plus 10. Cool. All right, and that's it for this binder. Let's get into my high priority sinking funds. Starting off with savings. I did take from this envelope, so, but I, um, in my recent cash stuffing, I did add that money back. So it has 500, 600, 710. So 710 this month and last month I ended with a balance of 700. I'm gonna move you guys just a tad. All right, cool. So that's plus 10. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, vacation had 55 and now it has 85. So 85 minus 85 plus 30. Um, emergency fund had 475 last month. Right now it has 625. I do have like a really big goal to get this to a thousand so then I can tackle my debt. So if you hear a crying baby in the back, that is my nephew with my dad. Uh, that is plus 150. Retirement last, the end of February had 2,181. And now it has, okay, it has. In my cash, it has 43 plus what I have in my 401k, 2512. So 2555. Ooh, positive change. 555 means positive change. Um, so 2555. So minus 2184, positive 371. Isn't this pen so cute? It's like clueless vibes. Um, health had five, it now has 10. So that's a plus five. Whoops, plus, I meant to put plus. All right, unexpected had 45. I did take from this, so I think it has less now. So it has 20, 30. 30, so that is minus 15. Olivia and Future have the same amount, so let's see. 
2045. Okay, so 45 and 45. So that's a plus 10. Okay, goals invest is a new one, and I just added it here too. Um, it's basically my investment envelope. And it didn't exist, so it had zero and now it has five, so that's a positive five. Gifts had 80, but of course, gifts is like that's in my low priority thinking funds. Um, so yeah, there's like birthdays every month. So right now, I think it has 75. So let's double check. Yes, 75. So 75, so that's minus five dollars. Amazon had 20, I think it has 14 right now. So, and I just used it to buy a book. Sure. Yeah, 14. So that should be negative six. Shop has 25, I think it has 25 now, so that's a plus five. I don't usually get to stuff these, you guys, so. Unfortunately, uh, Beauty has the same thing, so. That's a plus five. Tattoos had 120. Wait, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Uh, fitness and wellness is in the envelope, but I didn't add it here. So tattoo, sorry if you hear the music in the back. Has 150 now. So that's, that's a positive $30. Electronics, I think, also has 25. I actually need a new printer, you guys. My printer doesn't turn on. Yeah, 25. So that's a positive five. Events had 15. And now it has 20. So that's plus five. And then giveaway have 10 and now it has 15, I think. So that's plus five. Yeah, 15. Cool. I'm not gonna count my savings challenges or anything. Um, but I'm gonna count Christmas. Oh, I'm not gonna count my um, other holidays either. So Christmas has 130. That's really good. From then till now. So that means $40 plus 40. Cool. All right, and that's it. Now it's the fun part. Let's do the fun part. Is adding everything up. So this is how I do it. I put out my categories and then my beginning amount and then my ending amount, and then plus or minus. So, let's see, all of them are plus except for unexpected expenses, gifts, Amazon, and that's it, which that seems pretty normal, pretty accurate for me, and the rest are in the plus. Not really huge numbers, again, I don't really get to stuff my um, low priority, but I'm gonna do the calculations and then I'll show you guys. Alright, you guys, I did my calculations. So the beginning amount, which was at the end of February, I had saved 4,236. And now by the end of March, I saved 4,911. So that's almost $5,000 in my high priority, low priority sinking funds. So that is crazy. By next month, I for sure will have over $5,000 saved ish. <laughs> you know, between all of this so that means in the whole month i was able to save 675 um which is not bad last month i was actually able to save more from january to um february but that was different because i counted from well, the very beginning of january to the very end of february so a one month span not that bad 675 that's pretty good i think and it's only gonna go up from here baby yes all right thank you guys Thank you guys so much for watching my journey and being encouraging and motivating me. I love this community. Like, thank you guys so much. I hope you love this video or like love. I hope you like this video. Make sure you comment and subscribe to my channel if you feel so compelled to. Um, I'll see you guys in my next cash stuffing video. All right. Bye.